Now to the Matsu Valley, home to an artist who came from Germany to visit and never left. Sabine Becker spends a good portion of her time creating. She makes Alaskan spirit dolls. And as photographer Danny Pearson and I discovered, the spirit begins with her. I want people first to see that these dolls are just really beautiful to look at. And uh, then the second thing is, oh, they are done with, uh, it's a foot artist who made those. Alaskan spirit dolls, made by special feet. That's the name of Sabine Becker's business, and for good reason. Sabine uses her special feet because she has no arms, just a few fingers on each small hand. She's been using her feet like hands since she was nine months old. A little unconventional, but don't feel sorry for Sabine. I see it almost like a blessing. That's hard to understand, I think, for people, but I almost see it as a blessing, and I have uh, taught disabled children um, that uh, they can uh, live a very, very good life and so to me that is a blessing. Part of Sabine's sizable spirit goes into each doll she makes. They range in price from $45 to $100. Cases to display them in cost $32. Her partner Tony Keene makes the shadow boxes and gets a lot in return. People were just inspired um, by her positive attitude and the ability that she um, works with her feet and um, just mostly just the positive outlook in life that she has and it's also inspired me. I trace with a pen on this fabric the outline of this little doll. Then she sews, stuffs and creates with an artist's intensity. It's going to be the coat. That's how it looks then when it's um, dressed. Here's it in the coat, and these are the little skirts. I put them on, and then a little belt, and then I do the beading. Sabine's been developing her spirit doll since 1994, first as a hobby, then full time. She's got bachelor's and master's degrees in social work and psychology, but traded in her trade for the artist's life. It suits her, and so does her subject matter. So I feel like they're real personalities. They, they are not just an old doll I'm making to have money. Um, it's, um, it is me a little bit. Perhaps even more than just a little. Sabine creates her art, not with her hands, but with her heart. Sabine and Tony travel to craft shows about 30 weeks a year to sell their spirit dolls and shadow boxes. In fact, they're going to be set up tomorrow through Sunday at the Cottonwood Creek Mall in Wasilla. So you might want to stop by on your way to, the, to Willow for the Iditarod Restart and check it out. I already bought two. I think they're wonderful. When Lori enjoys a story, you can tell she comes <laughs> back, and as it's going, there seems to be a glow coming off. Obviously, a woman that you enjoyed. Well, she, she's a very inspirational woman, you know. Pretty spectacular. Yeah, nothing stops her. No doubt. <laughs> the next time you think you can't do something, think again. This week's assignment, Alaska, will teach us there's always more than one way to do just about everything. Mary Beth Weber and photographer Tom Cole take us to Wasilla for a little fancy footwork. In this artist's studio, everything's supposed to be on the floor. It's all within reach for Sabine Becker. I have 32 years of practice using my feet. Becker was born in Germany without arms. At nine months old, a physical therapist taught her to improvise. I brush my hair with my feet. I put my makeup on with my feet. Uh, I drive my car with my feet. And after a short career as a social worker, Becker walked right into this full-time art project. I always did like to do creative things. But uh, due to my disability, I just thought I could not be good enough to make a living of it. But a friend convinced Becker her toes had talent. So a few years ago, she started making jewelry. They sold really very well at a very small fair, and so that gave me a little bit of courage to go on with it. And um, then I came up with those little guys here. 
Alaskan spirit dolls with ivory identities. I just cut them downstairs in the basement and drew the little horse. And I will choose this one. She's like her own little assembly line. Cutting and stuffing and finishing a dozen dolls at a time. About 300 a year. Market. Could be for sale. Taken to a craft fair or sent to stores in Alaska, Seattle, and San Francisco. I do not like to be an inspiration, quite frankly, because I was brought up uh, that I'm not any different than anybody. Becker thinks of herself more as a messenger, standing up to anyone with or without a disability. They whine, they cry, they cannot do anything. Um, and sometimes I like to show those kind of people that there, there are means if you really want to. I really do not believe that I'm anything special. But she does admit this is a special feat. In Wasilla, Mary Beth Weber, Channel 2 News. In case you're wondering, Becker's car is specially altered just for her. The steering wheel and gear shift are hooked to foot pedals. And Sabine Becker is using her car this weekend to get her artwork to and from Anchorage for the Make It Alaskan Festival. Becker has set up shop at the annual craft show to sell her goods as Christmas gifts. Becker is unveiling the newest addition to Special Feet, Little Christmas Angels. Becker joins 230 Alaskan artists this weekend in the Sullivan Arena. Everything in the show is made in Alaska. The fair runs tonight until 9 o'clock, tomorrow 10 to 9, and on Sunday from noon to 6. And yep, kids get in free. What an I inspirational like woman she is. Yeah. Very talented. She's got beautiful artwork. I've seen her several yeah. times. And if I'm not mistaken, I think she has earrings that they sell antique. Really? Oh, really? Yes. Wow. And they're right. beautiful. I saw them about two years ago. I wanted a pair, but I just didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> now go back and sell. Okay. I know.